Yo, what's up, compadres? Welcome back to another Action Pack episode. It's your host with the most from the West Coast, SB Press, reporting live from Mastermind Media. Always to my left, Lance the Man himself. Yeah. And always to my right, Riz out in the his eye. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Is that, is that Cheerio? Hello, Cheerio. <laughs> Little Mrs. Daffire in there, too. <laughs> <laughs> CB always in a place to be and oh. ride with the mastermind running around this place somewhere. <laughs> CB, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But also want to say thank you to Veronica and Cisco. Even though y'all ain't here, y'all here in spirit as always. And compadres, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Where the hell are we going? We're starting we can't with the go nowhere with this shitty ass weather. <laughs> Man, yeah, but we need it, and it's not that bad. It's just a little rain. We always need it and never get it when it's most needed. But in, I'm not going to go, <laughs> go too far. Hold but on. We're getting it right now. And when it's summertime, <laughs> when we're in the droughts, <laughs> we're not... <laughs> We never get when we need it the we, most. We, we, we're not going to get it during the summertime. We don't live in we Florida where it rains, it. man. Are oh, you guys yeah. speaking in metaphors? I, I, I'm, I'm not so. me. What the f this has nothing to be with me and Tim over here. What the f you talking about? Shit. Oh, there's a bleep. You know <laughs> Start off 2023. Before, first of all, I'm going to say f one time. Ready? <laughs> one, two, three. F <laughs> there you go. Welcome in 2003. There you go. 2023. Bow, 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 bow. We working in like bow. that and with this horrible weather. You can't take California weather too serious, though. You know, Tony, Tony, and Tony lied because apparently it's raining. I can say rain now because somebody was making fun of, oh, you're talking about little water drops. That's not rain. Uh, there we go. He's trying to mock my f voice right now and it's not it's not you know uh you know it's raining joe i don't know what to do am i gonna float away over here by the, the gas station and you know it's just a little bit of water ain't that big of a deal we're not in a flood situation have you seen the rest of the country right now we can get through this for this week and then it'll be 80 degrees until october it's summertime what three um seasons out of the year yeah i think so lance what do you say you over there like you don't even know what to do i, I, I uh, <laughs> I guess the it's opening of this episode is crazy. No, it's not crazy. It's energy. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> so first off, we need to turn P up and turn show down a little bit. <laughs> well, that's how it is every f week, but whatever. <laughs> All right, man. But oh, uh, man. Uh, this weather is crazy. You guys are totally right, man. Yeah, definitely. But I like it. The I information do, so I enjoy it. It's pretty cool. Absolutely, man. I'm a tropical brother. I'm not feeling this weather. <laughs> I am not feeling this weather at all. I get it. It's needed. Right. It but is it's needed. never, I guess, coming around the mountain when we need it the most, if that makes sense. <laughs> he said that twice now. <laughs> that, yeah. If that makes sense to you, that's all that matters, Pete. It does. It does. It does. I try. I, I, you. I, yeah, try. I don't think it's a bad thing. And you're friends, and we're good. Yeah, we're I all try. good, Pete. I try. So speaking of a friend, let me just go ahead and give a shout out to a special friend, Mr. Yeah. David Thomas Styles. He, uh, you know, hooked me up with this jacket today. He pulled up on me. He's a, it's a beautiful the, jacket. Nice um, jacket. Stylist for John Legend as well as for uh, Lionel Richie for the awesome. voice and American Idol and everything. Cool. They get the fancy jacket with their names on the back, but we're going to work something out to get compadres put on the back of this one. That's awesome, man. So, yeah, definitely well, okay, want to collab. You said for that. this one, I think we all should get one there. Yeah, well, no, yeah. I'm saying for this jacket in particular, but I think everybody should be able to choose out their own colorway. Oh, that would be sad. Man, you know what when color we get to that point, get. I know you're going to have to I'm going to have to get black. I don't know about that. <laughs> Silver right now, but I'm gonna um, get my skin black. I'm not even gonna get into that shit. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and get into your favorite point of the week, Joe. Let them know what time it is, brother. It's weird of the week. You're weird. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to hit this weirdo first because it's just taking over storm. It was something that actually came up in 2022 and reinventing itself. But there was a gentleman who spent 15 grand on a real live, I guess, uh, dog costume so he can live out his dream. So now he's just running around looking like a very expensive dog and just playing fetch, <laughs> shitting on himself and all those. It's, it's, a, it's a shit show and it's weird as you hell. You got to be Hold on. No. <laughs> No, like, yeah, there's a lot of articles coming you up. You gotta and be kidding me, wow. Yeah, this was dated back in the summer of 2000, uh, uh, 2022, but it's reinventing itself right now. What? And just, yeah. What's I, that called? Uh, uh, ant, what do they call it when they dress up as, as cosplay, oh, cosplay? As, as, cosplay as as animals? Uh, um, yeah, I, I can't furries. think of the word. Furries, there furries? you go. Yeah, yeah. Is that okay. taking it a furry to the next level? <laughs> that is. I'm looking at Joe like I know he got something. Yeah, I think I'm lost for words on this one. Yeah, that's, you got to be f kidding me. It's Japan Ooh. too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, I, I talk about that, you know. The dreams people I, I have. Mean, I, I say it all the time. We agree. If people were like dogs, it'd be a better world. But come on, <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> to each his own. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. That's wow. Mm-hmm. Whoever really got him for that money, good for them. I guess. Yeah, he's, you know, he's, he's a life size that lassie. That's what he looks like. Literally, <laughs> literally looks I like. I did lassie. see that. That was trending today. I, that's crazy. Lassie, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Where you at, Joe? Yeah. Um, I shared this with both you guys. I hit you on the. I, I right. came across this, uh, I don't want to call him a gentleman. He was in court talking to a judge, and he was, you know, Scientologist. And he's into Scientology, but, you know, if you are, if that's great. But he's sitting there talking to a judge and talking about how he's having problems because his wife's <laughs> boyfriend was doing this, and he's in Vegas and being fed all these drinks, and he was drunk, and it's not his fault, and blah, 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 blah. And then he talks about how he, he met this Filipino chick. He was making out with her, and he took her upstairs. And she wanted money, and then she was a transsexual. And he's saying oh, this no. to the judge, right? Yeah. He's saying this to the judge. At what point do you, do you think Ooh. she was going to do anything for you? <laughs> You're a grown ass man. You made your own mistakes. You're in Vegas. And I'm watching this and I said it to P. I don't know if Lance, Lance, you watched it. Was, and you're just like, was, oh my are you God. kidding me? He was unbelievable. I mean, he's yeah. sitting here he giving so out all this. Yeah. He was serious he was all this serious. information, like how it wasn't his fault. Yeah, yeah. Certain time. Certain yeah. time. It's not like people were sitting in Vegas and he's at the table. Open your mouth. Here, take the drinks. I, I mean, can't believe on, you man. guys allow this to happen. People get taken, get advantage of them. Advantage of them. Of, dude, you're a, <laughs> we're making and out and, and, and he wasn't know. like an 18 year old, he was a grown, grown ass man, man. Yes. grown man. Couldn't and when I it. saw this, I'm like, Oh, there's the weirdo of the week. Oh, for sure. <laughs> and you know, it goes back to everything else I've talked about and stressed about a lot to you guys and everyone else around. It. Own your mistakes, right? Own who you are, don't blame anybody. You're in Vegas, dude, was unbelievable. for a convention, <laughs> you didn't have to go. <laughs> And you, you give out that. your life story. I'm just like this dude here. Like, I, I, whoa! The I look think on the he was, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he was most upset that it was uh, not the sex that he thought it was. I think. I, I know. Well, I know. I think. No, I don't even well, know who's that. If you hear the whole <laughs> thing, I mean, the whole when he started. Well, you know, I'm out here and my wife's boyfriend. Well, what? Uh, what? What? Well, oh, whoa, a, bro! <laughs> what is really going on with you? There's a great quote from the movie uh, The New Guy: "The sex you getting." You don't want. <laughs> you know, so uh, God bless him. I hope he figures everything out. And I, I just I love that was, God that bless was, him. Yeah, I hope he figures everything out. It was right. just too much for me to see that day. You want to give out that much plus personal information right. because you couldn't handle drinking in Vegas. Right. How does the judge even rule that? <laughs> like seriously, uh, whatever happened. Well, you heard what she said. That's enough. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. yeah that's she enough. did. You mm-hmm. know, I mean, it was just it was. Wow. Whatever so, happened is what happens in Vegas stays, this stays in Vegas. In Vegas this, I mean, it was just too much for me, bro. Absolutely. So that's what I'm sharing this week. Ah, uh, man. I got a Gabrielle Union. Uh, Ooh. For you that I don't know, Joe, if you don't know, CB, Mark, SB. Uh, so she was in an interview and discussed the fact that uh, she cheated in the past with uh, individuals that were on a lower tax bracket than her, right? So she said, I was footing the bills, so I was able to cheat. Now, <laughs> for me, <laughs> her being with D-Wade. Say that know, one more time. So she said, hey, I was footing the bills, so I'm able to cheat. Flipping or splitting? Footing the bills. Okay. She was the breadwinner okay, of the okay. relationship. So, so, okay. mm-hmm. so she broke it down into those terms, and this is blowing up right now. It's crazy. But it's like, my question to you guys is, is like, Men do the same thing, right? So when a lot of guys, a lot of guys in this world, they think when they foot the bill that, you know, if I'm paying your rent, I'm paying all mm-hmm. your expenses, you know, you don't have to work. All you do is sit back. Am I able to cheat, right? Gabrielle Union <laughs> came out and said she is, right? She did and she has been in the mm-hmm. past. And it, it brings me to this question and thinking about it. Is it still a time in life where we're paying three times our our wages for wedding rings when we're marrying these women. Well, first and foremost, uh, it, no one's married on this two, panel. Two, or two part else. question right mm-hmm. there. Let me know. So, uh, first and foremost, like I said, no one's married in this whole radius of the studio or this apartment. Right. So I can't answer that. But do you, you've heard that, right? Oh, I mean, I've seen some ridiculous rings. Three times your wage that you make a year is three what you times. three times. Is in, but then you got Gabrielle Union saying, "Well, I'm the breadwinner." And I, and yeah, <laughs> you no. see the correlating point. Well, for me, it's more like 
the ring ain't even really what it's about. It's about the symbol that comes behind it. It's about the vows and stuff. So there if you're going to say to a part and all that stuff, then you got to ride or die. Yeah. Period. Let it, let them know, P. But that just is what it is. I mean, certain people think that they get a, a certain financial stability in life and stuff like of that. Course. That they shit don't stink. And nah. Everybody shit stinks. Not going for that. But if you're the breadwinner, should you be able to cheat? <laughs> That's my point. I don't think anybody should be cheating. Shouldn't be cheating, no. huh? Mm-mm. No. <laughs> Stay Weirdo. solo if that's if that's your case. If you can't give up the inconsistent attention of all for the consistent attention of one. Mm. Stay solo. Mm. That's the problem that. with the world. Gabrielle's she's standing on thin leg with Boosie and everybody else. <sighs> she might as well just stay out of the media for a little while. But can they stay out of the question? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> or do they want to stay out of the question? Some people think whether it's negative or positive, it's mm. still publicity. Right, right. So nah. As long as they still stay in the headlines and stuff, for better or worse, they feel like they're winning. Right. Yeah. Or should I say her? <coughs> her. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to put words in somebody else's mouth. Uh, I just want to say real quick, uh, R.I.P. Goss. R.I.P. I'm gonna leave it at that. Goss. Y'all know what it is. Everybody listening that knows him knows what it is. And then I want to get into uh, the young bull. Uh, Joe, can you tell us about yeah, ma. what happened on Monday Night Football? <sighs> Break it down. I did. I, I did a, a piece on this today, and this poor young man, you know, was just going out to play a football game. Made right. a, made a routine hit and collapses, and I, I mean, it's just sad. It's tragic, and you know, and now you have reports coming out that NFL didn't want to pull that game. Yeah, and it's not about the damn game. It's about a human being's life. And I think people, you know, most people are pretty touching about it. They, they realize what happened and they saw what happened and understand that it's just a game and it's just, it's it's deep and, you know, he's going to make it. I'm you got to see the brotherhood. Right? Yeah, oh, you the know, brotherhood the everywhere. Team, I mean, the, 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 the other yeah, teams, that, that's you know? what was great about it. And we sit here sometimes and debate about how tight locker rooms are. Yeah, it's a big thing. Mm-hmm. And however, you saw... Then, what was going on? Yeah, man. There was some real emotion going on. And, you know, we haven't seen this before. Unfortunately, it has happened before. There was a player, I believe his name was, um, he played for the Lions. Lions, yeah. Uh, I, think last I name know was, exactly I think his last name was Hughes, if I'm mistaken. He died on the field in 71. On the field. Yes. You know? Yeah. But, being, but you have to remember from then, then into now where we've grown with social media and media in general. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and then you just kind of like just let that game go. I don't even think that game should be revisited or anything. It's no. too much emotion. It's too no. much, too much at stake. You know. Well, the bigger problem is, is you know those players on those fields, they're gonna need some counseling. Absolutely. I mean, I know I would. Shit. Mm-hmm. You know, you sitting there playing a game and you see a player just collapse like that. That don't happen every, and it shouldn't happen. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, man, it's devastating, man, and it's stuff that you know. It's hard to uh, watch. And I'm very, you know what? I'm will, I will speak on this. Uh, I think we've been so accustomed to seeing things like this and like it being on the football field really shook everybody because, you know, everybody's gridiron fan. And so mm-hmm. like just around the country and around the world, even you see, you know, death on a regular, you go to Twitter, you see all these types of videos and, you know, it's just unbelievable. And my biggest thing is, is I was so happy that uh, a lot of people came out and were like, Hey, don't share this video. Right. Don't share the CPR being yes. done. Right. And yes. like, you know, like let's, let's take this in the Some right kind direction. Of Be respectful. That's my point. You know, like, cause we've seen so many disrespectful moments. I think that, you know, the, the society starting to come around and being like, Hey man, you know, so like, I was very proud of that moment, you know, but uh, a lot of the vultures took advantage of that moment. Of course. And, you know, even high, you know, members of sports journalists and and in journalism, I mean, and 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 people that have a voice in this game, you know, and I think you guys all know who I'm talking about and what oh. we've been talking about and somebody that we're going to tackle today because we've talked about him on the show before. Too and, many times, and it was it was just disgusting. To this me. is one thing we won't be skipping over. Absolutely. So let's just go ahead and take the deep dive into the 
the what the world's pretty much saying the disrespect on first well not even on uh first well, undisputed, undisputed. undisputed. Yeah. i was gonna say fox sports one sorry yeah but you know uh between skip and shannon you know Sh- uh, shannon respectfully took the day off because he you know also felt like he needed to be be one with the rest of the individuals well no because he's a player like it, I mean, it, that it shit runs him. deep. When you're a player in the NFL, it doesn't matter about this year. It goes on for years and years. You're mm-hmm. a player. You're in a, you're in a brotherhood. You're brotherhood. Yes, it's absolutely. a fraternity. It's a special fraternity that everybody can do. I and mean, the so, beautiful so, thing is he has a GoFundMe account, and most of the people wow. that are putting in into it's like $6 million it now. are fans from different teams. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know, they and it's the just, game. it's just real. Like, you know, it's, it's a life. It's not even about the sport. Right. But, you know, but the fact that someone thought, their tweet was more important to even put out there, not even delete it after you've been talked about. Let's, oh, he yeah. stood on it. He stood on it. He said that today. I yeah. stand on this. I brought this up before. He's a what? Go ahead. He's a fucking bum. And he's, he, he's arrogant. Yes. He's out of control. And we saw the disrespect weeks ago with Shannon about the whole Brady thing with him. Okay, that, that was horrible. But today... You have the audacity to go ahead and Shannon's trying to make a great point to cut him off Absolutely. again because mm-hmm. it's about you. It's not about what happened. Absolutely. And that's my whole problem with them. Hold, the, on, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Yeah, yeah. Right. No, the no. Starting monologue and you already cut him off. Yeah, you cut him off. The man and, and, took the whole yeah, day I'm, off. And you couldn't give him yeah. two minutes. No, I mean, it's 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 pretty bad right now, bro. And it's not even about Skip. Exactly. It's not. And he made it about him. Culture vulture. We could say that. We could say attention whore. Mm-hmm. We could say that. There's a lot of num- names and stuff that I didn't want to bring up about him. But after what, you know, inspired these. And I get it. Uh, people took uh, some of the things he said out of context, and especially in that tweet. And we're not going to read it or say anything about it because we don't give it any valid day because it's about that boy in Buffalo mm-hmm. and DeMar and his life. No, it's about DeMar. On. I mean, that's what, that's what it has to do with. And so, the, the thing is, it, it, when DeMar, you know, Gets to a full recovery. Skip should apologize to him. Well, he should take the damn tweet down. He no, should he apologize should, to his family should, there, now. There's so much he should do, but it's, he hasn't done any of that. Very he's, cla- he's not gonna like classic. And at the, bro. But at the same time, at the end of the day, it's, it's we're talking about Skip. Fifty years in the game. Yeah, in fifty years in what game are you trying to be so arrogant? You don't know anything. It was completely it, it, when he ran the show on its own. It was a joke. Yeah, he literally was begging for Twitter to leave questions for him to answer. And he gave know? a garbage apology. Oh, it was terrible. He doesn't care. Too dumb yeah, to care. He cares about him. That's all. But That's it. we are it. witnessing the breakup of Undisputed. I don't think so. You don't? No. Contracts are five years in. They're, they're you signed think up to Shannon 20, don't 20, give 30. If Shannon mm. wants to leave, he'd leave. He would have left. He can if he wants to. I'm sure he, he can have that it. contract voided. I, you know, I, I Skip gave him a chance. He's not going to do that. If Skip really steps in the shit again. Then he. I mean, might. Shannon was doing what CBS Sports. Yeah, so he started he, at he CBS. Has, he has some. He uh, got fired he from got CBS. Some pedigree. He got he got fired from CBS, and then he, Skip gave him a shot. So he got his. Well, no, Shay no, Shay Shay right got a, Shannon has his own podcast too. Yeah. He does. He show. has a lot going. He has yeah. a lot of fire. A lot of a lot of candles in the fire. So. He's well respected, you know. We don't even have to go down his accolades about being in the Hall of Fame, how he was disrespected by a non water gun pistol feed guy. <laughs> yeah, and we all just, that we covered that. So Man, yeah. hey, I wanted to ask you guys. So, like after everything that's so popular right now with the skip tweet and and then, you know, DeMar and and, and, and Monday Night Football and everything, where do you where do you guys what do you guys think about like the mental health of people in, in, in the society right now and where we're, what's pushing everything forward and people need to really step up and say they have issues, man. Yeah. I mean, Twitch, I mean, what's his name? Uh, isn't it Twitch? Mm-hmm. The guy who committed, you know, yep. God rest his soul, but like very happy individual. And we see this all the time, man. And I could just see these well, NFL players and, and everything What about on, the man. guy for the co-founder of David, David Buster? Buster? There you go. I mean, alley-oop. Mm-hmm. It's just, um, I'm just saying, dude. I mean, here's the, here's what I see, and I noticed this the other day when I went and stopped peeing. I saw the L.A. Times or whatever right there, and the headline read, L.A. County does not have enough mental health workers for what's going on. Seeing that. And that's a big problem. I mean, you know, I mean, it's just like I said with the NFL. All those guys are going to need counseling. They have to. And the thing is, it doesn't take. You're no less of a man or a woman if you need help. Hell no. It's just trying to find the help now because it's not really available. They're not making the counties and everything else in the states. They're not making it available. 
Absolutely, right. man. You got to you know? be open with yourself and with others in order to get the help that you need. Exactly. Like well, I've done. Well, what do they say, man? The first the first step is admitting yes. you have a problem. Yep. Right. And to yourself. And, and 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 talking to somebody about it. That's right. the first step, no, man. You're exactly right. And, and it's tough. I know it's tough because I know there's been times, you know, where I've been, you know, not depressed, but like, you know, upset about some things that I'm down for. And mm -hmm. I really think about how I can improve my mental health for the day. You know, if it's reading something or listening to something or reminiscing or getting into some things that, you know, make me feel better in my life, you know? Right. That's, it's all about self-care, man. Mm -hmm. People got to really take care of themselves, man. And then you can take care of other people. Right. right? Completely. That, And I'm glad you said that about self-care care, because that's what the mental health really starts with. It, does. it starts with putting you first because you've been putting everything else. Yeah. You know, take a step back and breathe, actually, and understand the, the thing. And like CB was saying, writing out a plan in your future. That's you know, important. write your steps out and stuff like that. That'll actually clear some of the pa the pavement for you. Well, also you got to find out what works for you as a human being, and, uh, as it what works for you, and you know yourself. Like I know what it does, what I need to do, right? And I do it every day, and I try to do it every day. And sometimes I'm tired, sometimes I want it, but the thing is, you have to bow up and do your thing, and that's what I usually do. But it, I think you, each person, if they really have a problem, they need to get the counseling, find out what's going on, and then go on from that. They have to work yeah. on it. But yep. again, like I just said, there's not a lot out there, man. Yeah. And you got to pay for it. You got to pay to go talk to these people, and people don't have that kind of money. Sometimes they don't. It's, un it's very unfortunate to see what's going on, yeah. and I hope they come to some kind of conclusion to fix this because yeah. it, it shouldn't happen. It shouldn't. Yeah. And and you know, I don't want to for for you guys for one second to think that we're just like this is just skimming over. But because I know for a lot of people, it's very tough, man. Yes, and it like, is. Yeah. We us personally, you know, probably haven't been in those pits, but I know a lot of people that have been and really consider, you know, bad things for themselves. So it's like, you know, we're just not being experts, just giving you our personal I'll, opinion, I'll talking about get out of a funk. I'll go That's ahead and it. be an honest That's Abe it. and stuff like that. <laughs> I've, I've, you know, dibbled and dabbled the last few months and stuff and not feeling the best about myself and not really appreciating myself like that. But it took for me to really understand what I'm trying to do and, and the, the goals that I'm trying to accomplish for me to realize if it's not a part of the, the, the pavement, then it's in the way of it. So for me, it's just understanding that, hey, I got... You to my left and you to my right. If I can't get it within there, then I just have to get it within here. So for me, I'm glad that I have the outlets. Wow. But Good advice. Wow. Not everybody has the outlets because not everybody's willing to say, hey, I'm hurting. Hey, yeah. I need help. You know, I've, right. I've admitted right. that right. on the episode you, you, several times. If you keep times. up with all this inspirational shit, you're going to have you're going to leave us. <laughs> Never, it's not going to be compadres anymore. It's going to be, I don't know, me and Lance are going to be on own. You're going to be doing your own <laughs> shit with all, with all the knowledge you spend. That's some good shit right there, well, brother. like they said, I started this gangster shit. <laughs> but no, nah, man, y'all is the Go, things man. I get, man. That's cool, Y'all are the things I get, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Nah, compadres man. would be nothing without these two compadres. Jesus. Straight up. All right. Straight up. And that's even, not just on the episode, like I said, behind the scenes, these two have been very pivotal and just helping me throughout the, the course of just steps of life. So yeah, um, there it is. I don't really want to get uh, you're too in, deep. You're, 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 you're <laughs> out as well. And, and it's just like last night we were all hanging out. Yeah. You know, you had these two, you know, women come up to you and talking to you, and they they were a little sketch towards me and Lance because you know <laughs> we are big men. We're little, we're alpha males. We're big sexies, whatever you want to call us. I mean, I'm an alpha. And, I'm just I, and, I, and, I, and I had to go ahead and say when I left because they were they weren't very friendly towards us. It's funny they they were okay. kind of saying the same. <laughs> Okay, no, no, no. They weren't friendly There's towards like, us. And I'm not going to And I'll tell you what Lance said off camera, but I'm not going to say it now because what Lance said whoa, killed me. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. no. He, to the and he wants to call you left field. <laughs> no, no. no I, I'm allowed to go left field. You know what you said to me? And uh, that shit was funny as hell, but I'm going to tell you. Don't when I walked that. away and I told him, I go, because they didn't have great attitudes. <laughs> Towards us, and I said, "If you ain't laughing, you ain't living." And that's what I all want to do is laughing and living. And then when it hit them, they was laughing. Yes, yeah, so they, they get all that living. out. See, that's all that. Whatever. He gave them that feel good on no, the way out. It's just like you know, we just chilling. They weren't. And me and Lance were just chilling. They came to talk to you. It was fine. I, mean, I don't care. But me and Lance had a great laugh. A couple of them. <laughs> Shit. So it's all good in the hood. <laughs> Man, nah. I totally lost track of thought right there. Good one, man. That was, uh -huh. that was off the cusp. <laughs> off the cusp. I got. I know. You call me off the cusp to find me. You left field, Lance. Oh, man. Man. And that's motivational P. <laughs> right in the middle, man. <laughs> oh 
man, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, just want to swing things into another gear. Yeah. So we're going into the marvelous months of movies and stuff like that. There's a few films coming out and stuff. I don't know if you guys are really into. So what do you mean by that? Okay. So there's the Marvels coming out. There's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 coming out. There's Ant-Man coming out. There's a lot of marvelous movies coming out. Are there any movies on you guys' list or just to think of that you guys are anticipating? Am I in any movies? <laughs> so why do I give two shits? Why hey, don't you want to watch sets. it? You've, You've been on sets. You've been on sets. I know I damn movies. I don't give a shit. The, the only thing I'm interested in is John Wick 4. Let's see. see he's ran to a performance. <laughs> John Wick 4. Yeah. You see John Wick 4. And he said it. You motherfucker. I'm learning too. I'm learning. You better that motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. Nah, he's true though. Uh, the Marvel movies, death. I'm, I'm interested in him. Joe's not, but John Wick 4 for sure. John Wick yeah, 4. We agree on that. That looks yeah. really cool. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm sorry. I, I'm going to watch A Little Mermaid. Oh. Holly Berry, I like I like okay. her. Okay, Holly hasn't DDG. done anything in a while, so well, that's no, cool. Well, yeah, well, it's the young the young DDG girls, yeah. DDG's yeah. girlfriend, and it's yeah, controversial so. behind it, so yeah, it's gonna yeah. be a very great film. Well, I seen that you seen the <laughs> she's a good actor, isn't it? Uh, is it John actress? Yeah, actress, sorry, is yeah. It, is, it John, is it Cameron Boy doing it, or who's 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 the one who's mm. the one making it? Yeah, let me look that up. Yeah, here. not sure exactly who the director on that film is, but it is a very highly anticipated one. It is. See, you know what's great about all this is being in the SAG, we get screeners. Yeah. So I'm going to get all this shit. So I don't even have to leave the house. Look at you. See? It's directed by Rob Marshall. Rob, Rob, yep, Rob Marshall? Yep, Perfect. Rob Marshall. Good looking out. CB. CB's got them little hands. He ain't got hey, the mitts, so they can hey. get back that quick. He's like, da, 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 he got it. <laughs> so we got Transformers, Rise of the Beast. Oh, yeah. Little Mermaid, Guardians of the Galaxy, John Wick, Shazam. Um, then you got the show. Hey, that's going to be pretty cool, hon. The one with Dr. Dre that yeah. did a whole behind the scenes thing yep. of the performance, of the Super Bowl performance. That should be fun. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. I want to see how he put it together and how they told Game now. Where's the current state of movies right now, Joe? So give me 2022 to now. Well, I just think it's all streaming now. I don't think a lot of people go to the movie theater to watch them. Right. And I, I think it's really flooded there's a lot of stuff out there to watch at home you don't have to it looks like they just want you to stay home they don't want you to go to the theaters all right what you got for a cb i strongly disagree okay i Let's think that i th it's going to it's an experience it's well, the i think sound. the experience is over brother because i mean how many people do you know go to the movies on a regular basis oh man i got a group of like five six people that i go with almost. out here yeah I go that to the movies go pretty regularly. Maybe once a week, twice a week. I don't go regularly. I'm not gonna lie. No, I'm not, I, if I, I it's don't a go big either. movie, I'll <laughs> go see it. But I can, you know, unfortunately, you know, like Joe, I can see him on my own too. So, I mean, I know, I do know a lot of people. I know one person that goes a lot to the movies. Other than that, I don't know anybody that goes. Mm. It is a good experience, like CBS. No, it is. Say. I mean, watching yeah. Top Gun in the it. theater was yeah. amazing. Oh, man, yeah. I didn't or get to Avatar? see it. Like, I want. Yeah. have to see that. I, I, that's, mm. I have been waiting to watch it. Avatar in the movie theater. For Did you sure. watch Top Gun? Yeah, I saw Top Did Gun. Did you see Top the original? Gun. Yeah. Wow! Well, really? let's say what? Oh, yeah, yeah, holy yeah, shit! Yeah. You actually watched something well, from dad, back in the eighties. My 80s. dad was a pilot, so oh, there, you oh, yeah. there, there, there we go. go. Good. All the yeah. aviator movies went through your house, huh? Oh yeah. No, but those, these, the, the, you know, the way the 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 scripts is what gets me. I just, I just, uh, the Netflix moves are just like uh, I feel like. They're starting to get quality back, you know, in the streaming, like you were saying. But, like, I just feel like they rush so many scripts and they just throw so much money around. And, like, we get so many bad movies. And like, well, it's because the producers want to make The producers are all making the money now. Right, Not well, everybody, you know. Well, and then look at how all the, like, DC, what the, like, he brought up earlier, like, they so, go, okay, so, so likely what, what DC is going through right now, they're pretty much just abandoning ship. Yep. They got a new guy running uh, running the show over there, James Gunn. Where is he from? And he just got snatched from Marvel. Marvel. <laughs> so he's basically running the whole show at DC, and he already got David Batista threatening him for um, Bane Rowe, who they're not even casting it for yet. But he's, it's just he's been working with him for about 10 years. They've, years there's no way he's not gonna get that role. so they, they they fired henry civil right yep and then the girl uh, from henry wonder woman cavill uh, cavill sorry henry cavill and then superman the then superman and then the girl from uh, wonder Gal woman Gadot. Gal Gadot. um uh, uh, is uh the rock going yet the rock oh yeah yeah the rock so and the boy from aquaman yeah jason momoa jason momoa 
Every every and big it's actor. It's so funny. The on only the, one the, person that they haven't let go is the person they should have let go in the beginning. <laughs> the Flash. <laughs> they still haven't let him go. He's been on some crazy. They stuff. They haven't even released the film because of the stuff that he's. I going know through. it's true. You seem very upset about. I this. am because his debacle is the reason why a lot of people are losing their jobs. Like you're talking, Henry Cavill stopped doing The Witcher to return for That's Superman. That's crazy. Yeah. That like we, man. Yeah. Yes. I am a movie person, and I am very, very irritated by that. Are you that. a movie person or a superhero comic person? Both. Both. I'm a jack of a few trades, not all of them. What's your favorite gangster film? My favorite gangster Ooh, film? I like this. <clears throat> Ooh. Colors. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Wow. wow. So I'm surprised you Colors. haven't seen that. It breaks Colors. down a lot for some people. Colors. I didn't want to go Colors. to, uh, you know, like, I didn't want to do Menace to Society, Boys in the Hood, all those. Colors came before that. Yeah, you're right. But those movies are better than colors, in my opinion. In your opinion, okay. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Where you at, Joe? Wait, Wait, what you, you know what the f- I'm going to say? Hey, you know hey, hey, I can sit here all day and talk about gangster films, bro. <laughs> but give me one. Give me one. Or I give, can give, give me, me one. I can give you f-ing twenty. Give well, us, just give us your give best. Us, your give, favorite. Give Godfather. Us. Okay. Okay. Goodfellas. Just one, bro. Casinos. One. Casinos. One. Casinos. I'm just going to rip it down. Hold on. Like, what's mine? Can I talk? Uh oh. No, I'm just going to let it go. <laughs> what, you, what you got for us, Lance? Me, I can Before he takes another one. one. He hasn't said it yet. Luckily. Before he takes another one. Scarface. Oh, Thank this, you. Scarface. Hey, I don't know Jeez. about that. You know, well, Scarface was, was fun, but Kings it's also. Of New York. I was going to say Menace to Society, but you right. said it already. Well, he said Menace to Society already over colors. Nah, I'm just joking. No, I mean, we can. I can sit here and talk about those films all day. Deuces. You got a bunch. Deuces. You got a you got a bunch of movies that are just yeah yeah. You guys never seen Once Upon a Time in America? Huh? Of course. Once Upon a Time in America. Yes. No, he hasn't. Why? Who? Who's the um? Who's the lead uh, actor? James Wood. James Robert Wood. De Niro. Robert, Robert De Niro. William yeah, Forrest. Sounds right? familiar. If you got like four hours of your time to waste going one, it's a oh, long one. Easily, easily. But it's, I'll a, mix it's, no, a, it's old school. It's got to be edited. A lot of it was filmed. Wasn't a lot of that filmed in in Italy? No, that was all New York. Oh, was it all in New York? Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. So that's I'm about thinking, that's about it was a, it was about you know Jewish gangs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But I, I thought they I thought they had a town that they rented. That well, they, they might have. I mean, yeah, I have to look at I've it. seen like the background. Like, yeah, Once Upon a Time in America. Movie. It's huge. Man. It's a great I mean, movie, though. I mean, you got Once Upon a Time in China too. That's like no. you know similar to it. That's really good too. So. You know, another movie I like Sicario. Oh, and that deal with dope. stuff over the border and stuff like that. So like, yeah, yeah. What's popping right now, guys? What do we want to talk about? What do you guys want? To, what do you guys want? To, what's going on? Current stuff. What are we on? What are you guys thinking about? Yeah, it's kind of really hard to think about the NFL. So let's shift things into the NBA just a little bit. You want to talk a little sports? Just a little bit. Gotcha. Um, I'm at that. LeBron. LeBron. His performances. Let's we'll make it easy. Thirty eight. Last two games. Jesus. Ninety points. Wow. Since he turned thirty eight, dropped nine. And they're winning. And they're winning. Yeah. They're playing tonight against Miami, but he's sitting out with the like, you know, flu like symptoms. Do no, they? flu-like symptoms, man. Yeah. It might be, you know, let's just say flu. So do they, do, what do you, let me ask you a question. Where do you put LeBron in, in, as one of the best Lakers ever? Lakers? Yeah. Not in the NBA, just Lakers. Lakers. That's tough. He'd be probably. He Go ahead. I got you. He'd be in my top 15. Hasn't cracked the top 10 because there's some people respectfully. Certain things they've done, like Derek Fisher, people don't give him enough credit for that point four shot. Robert Ory. Robert Ory. People don't give enough credit. Big shot Rob. And it's like. I mean, you got Wilt. <laughs> every, every, and not like that, but Kobe has how many rings? Five. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Derek Fisher was there for all five of them. Shaq. Shaq. Uh, um, you got, uh, you got You Kareem. put him ahead of a Worthy? No. Mm. Worthy, I, you know worthy what, was now, good, man. Now I bro, feel like I got to hear his list. It's chips, bro. Wor- 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 worthy. Yeah. Worthy. Okay. Kareem. Yeah. I mean, I'm just curious. I, 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 I agree, man. I don't, I, I. Now, for his namesake, I would probably put him in the top ten. But at the same time, I could you, I could hear arguments for him, uh, James Worthy for Derek I mean, Fisher. I for, think uh, I think it's bad. I mean, it's either Kobe it's or Magic LeBron. or Magic and Kobe. Yeah, those are oh, one, the two. Tops? one two. Oh, yeah. One two. One two. Easy or you just well, get a coin flip with but, that. But one. hold on though, Kareem. It, it, that's the general man. That's captain That's man. Captain. He's 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 he's, he's okay. So then we're gonna the, say respectfully, he's number one. Then he, I think he has to be. Yeah. I think this will be because magic. If you're I, saying I think, he's the boy, I, I he think this might him. be a topic for discussion for what we got going on on Saturday. <laughs> well, we still, uh, yeah, yeah, we're still, uh, we're still, we're still running. Just but make sure yeah, you yeah. got your mama mentality <laughs> ready. For that. Right? No, I'm telling you, like, yeah. All right, let's let's go this then. Uh, and Joe, you you pick up off what you want, but I'm going to say this. I like I like Brooklyn in in the in the in the championship game. Really, I do. You like that winning streak they going on? I, off I of do. I jelly. like what's going on. 
Okay. I mean, Kyrie's, it, it, he is unguardable. KD. Do you think it's interesting with all the drama they had yep. and then they're starting to do this? Yes. Usually that's what happens. It, well, they're behind their coach now. Yeah. The, the they're players behind are behind Vaughn and, and they're responding to him. And, mm -hmm. and Ben Simmons is no one in role now. Now they have a really serious championship team. And Ooh. I don't see, I see the East, I, they're having big problems with Brooklyn Nets. I'm going to tell you that right now. I got, I guess, for the Eastern Conference Finals. It's going to be a battle between Brooklyn and Boston. Okay. You know, I don't think Milwaukee has enough this year. Well, they got Chris back. Yeah, but that still didn't stop the Celtics from. I hear you. Tapping that ass. Tapping that ass. Where you at, Joe? And then we're going to pass out of this. What do you think about Devon Mitchell? There you go. 71. Ooh, 71. Wow. Highest for, for the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. I mean, LeBron was like, hey. <laughs> Spider, hey. you're the man. Right. I was there for so many years and didn't score 71. I mean, that's the highest since Kobe Bryant yes, in what, 2008, yeah. 2007 that was? Mm -hmm. And was what's, it 17 what, what, years? what's the assist he's had, too? They, yeah. they, they had this, the, the total they showed, you know? Yeah. I mean, I think. Uh, that's pretty amazing. Oh it's man, cool. it's so cool efficient to too. I watched yeah. the highlights because all that went on Monday night, mm -hmm. and there was we all were sucked in on Monday night. Yeah, yeah, of yeah, what yeah. was going on? So, yeah. but I watched play by play all, all seventy one points, and it was just amazing, bro. It was like a, a like a eight minute video right. of him just scoring the basketball. NBA Jam, he's on fire. I, it was like, unbelievable, going, bro. And the craziest part about it is the backdrop of that game is is that everybody was out. Mm. All his, his 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 starting shooting guard was out. His starting small forward was out. You mean uh, starting point? Starting um, no, because he started point. Uh, Darius Garland and um, and uh, what's the other boy? Uh, the the shooting guard. I mean uh, the, the small forward. Um, uh, yeah, I can't remember. But yeah, anyways, Chris uh, is it Chris Levert? No, he's no, coming no. off the bench. Yeah, he's come off the bench. Yeah, but yeah, whatever. Yeah. But, but he did that without you know by himself. Without support, right? Well, that's how it usually works when someone scores so seventy one. <laughs> yeah, I don't. They won the game. Too. I mean, look at yeah. Will when he did one on one. What? Nobody's but, ever every, catching that. That's uh, you never know. Everybody's taking pictures like one on one, bro. But it ain't even that. I was surprised they left him in the game, to be honest, because usually they start snagging you. Just like when Kobe hit, you yeah. know, he got his 81, mm -hmm. they pulled him but, out. But Kobe did his 81 with two overtimes. Well, Kobe did, what, 60 points in three quarters, and they didn't let him play in the fourth. Yeah. So who knows who would he would have got that game. Well, Donovan tied the second half, uh, the uh, the history, well, the most points, that? and it was 57. No, 54. Okay. Kobe had 54. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, so it was 54. Yeah, he tied that. Yeah, the last person who had like a breakout scoring uh, game like this was uh, Clay Thompson, but they pulled him after the third quarter. They too. did, yeah. Yep. Hey, man, it's amazing, man. That, that boy can put the ball in the hoop. Period. It's exciting. There's a lot of, and, and the thing that I like about the NBA right now is every team has somebody that adds to the culture and getting more people into the game. Like, if you're an OKC fan, they got, you know, some players yeah, out there. But that's, that how, but that's how there. it's all designed. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the way it should be. It's just like in the NFL when you look, the salary cap is made that way so each team can go 8-8. Eight and eight. Yeah. And if you look at the standings in the NFL right now, what, you got Houston has won two games and tied one? Mm-hmm. Who? Yeah, yeah. Very okay, true. And then everybody else after that, they're like six and some, you know. Right. It's six all and ten, six and eleven, whatever oh. they're going to finish at, and that—I mean—that's how they design all these things. So, well, speaking of that, I mean, we might as well go ahead and, and talk a little bit of of, of football here. Um, I want to pose this question for you guys. We discussed it a little bit last night. Um, the season, right? Injuries, all the things that we discuss. Mm -hmm. You know, do you? At Joe sent a very good. Uh, Instagram tag that a, a woman I, I can't remember her name but she said some very you know really cool ideas for the NFL to oh maybe yeah, 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 man, yeah 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 right and then I personally you know I was thinking and and we talked about Colin Coward and what he said and like something has to change here right right exactly oh, we got to figure something out we got to come to some middle ground where we're talking well, so if you guys don't know what we're talking about is the season is too long in the NFL players are getting hurt preseason Thursday night games Break and the, and don't forget the travel to Europe. Break this down yep. for us. We got to figure this out. I mean, I, I mean, what she said was, and it, I, I I can't even remember her name. I can't either. I can, uh, we know, we can look it up right, right now. now. Keep but, talking, Joe. Yeah, but you. the thing is, what you know, what she said is like each team should have two buys. Mm -hmm. The Thursday night game should be played after teams have a bye week, right? And then they would have the Super Bowl. The day after it'd be a holiday, I think it was be Martin Luther Martin King. Luther King, yeah. So I, what I think about all that, Kinsey Salmon, yeah. I, what I think about all that, it's great because either get rid of the preseason games and make the regular season longer, or Absolutely. have two preseason games. But the thing is, there should be two buys, and either 
The way she talked about the Thursday game would be awesome. If not, just get rid of the Thursday game. Thursday's game should be gone. It's not good for the players. No. no it puts them in harm's way a lot more faster. No, They're it, not even it, recovering it, from the week, last week's injuries. And people don't watch it. Well, they can't watch it it's really anymore unless you have Amazon Prime. Yeah, it's like nobody watches this. There's a, the TV ratings are horrible. That's the least paid day when they make these TV con the ad contracts that they make for the and, NFL. And that's the right. problem with the NFL is, and I talked about the inconsistency. What, what are you doing? You want to make it safer, but you want the away team that got done on Sunday, and they usually have an off day on Monday. Right. They study film and practice on Tuesday. Depending where they're going on Wednesday, Travel. they're, they're, they're traveled and they play Thursday, Thursday night. night. They're not going to travel on a Thursday for a night game. Yeah. Absolutely not. So you have two days to basically prepare for a game. For and a game. still heal from the last game. Exactly. It makes no sense at all. It makes none. And I'm surprised that NFL's players union haven't just put their foot down and said no more. Because it, it needs to change. It's all about money, unfortunately. Well, well, that's all it's all about. Well, look, we can say all that, and I totally agree. But the NFLPA did vote, what, 2020? Yeah, and yeah. you seen what they passed? Yeah. We could smoke marijuana. Mm. Uh, I mean, the dumbest the, stuff yeah, I've ever sh seen in my right. life. Shit, that doesn't even matter. So, like, what are we really talking about? Right. Like, these guys got to want more for themselves. I would definitely. The next vote is what twenty twenty eight. I think it is. No, it can't be uh, that far away. I think it, or twenty twenty six. It's one of it's the. A, fact, what is check it? That real a clear. six year. Six. I think and it's, it's a, a six and year. NFL's players union uh, when their next contract is up. Next contract revoke, but. Uh, Anyways, but my point being is is that these guys really got to step up and say things like this because they, it's just a revenue grab. We all know what it is, and I understand, mm -hmm. but it's bad football. These guys are hurt, and they're coming out, and they're they're tired, and that's what happens. You get hurt even more when you're tired. Yep. Thursday night games need to go. Well, they're not focused. They're not tired. There's so much going on. The guys have so family. Much. These players have family. The coaches have families. They have other things going on. And preseason. You crunch them in the preseason games. Gone. Please. But see, here's the thing. The NFL would rather have 19. Say if they went to two preseason games, right? Yeah. yeah. They would have rather have 19 regular. games with a preseason and then 17 regular just so they can make those extra bucks on the two. I get CB, it. what you got for us? 20, 30. 2030. Oh, oh my God. Even so we were way off. Yeah. I mean, so it's a 10 year I said 2028, 2030. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I will say this. I get the revenue grab because that's what it's all about for sure. But my point is with the preseason is, is they have already in practice, right? They don't do training days, like training mm -hmm. camps, like they used no to. More no, they now they do. Now they do joint practices, right? And they're doing, you know, with a certain team. Well, they you know? do the joint practice and then they have four preseason so games. They, exactly. so they, That's my crazy, point. Bro. That's where mm -hmm. I'm getting to is that they do joint practices already. So why don't you continue more of that and then just start the season off just like they do in college? Like if you're doing, because I get it. You want to get your plays out, see who's, you know, good, who's who can run, who can run these routes, who can do what they need to be doing, what positions to be filled. But you can do that in these mutual training camps and team training camps that you're doing. Yeah, without Already. damaging your product. I tell product. you what, man, I, I really would like to be a bug on that wall, how they do the scheduling, how they do so much in the NFL, and how they, I mean, with these Thursday games, I'm just telling you, I don't even want to watch them. I've watched maybe one or two, and I always look at highlights, but I, I, I'm not looking for yeah, a Thursday I, football I've seen game. They're terrible games one. anyway. It's like, it's like freaking Colts, you know, Browns. It's like, who, who who's watching that? <laughs> who was the uh, Who was the coach underdog this year though? Yeah, it was mine. That's okay. why I said that. <laughs> that was actually <laughs> funny though. Mine's still alive to get in, so we'll see what happens this weekend. <laughs> but whatever. I mean, no. And that's the other thing, man. I mean, how are they going to really ha handle that Tua situation in Miami? I mean, the yeah. guy, guy's getting. I mean, there's so much that needs to be. They they mm -hmm. they really need to figure some stuff out, man. Yeah. Because I mean, I was talking on my other pod. Uh, Stop, drop, and listen. They would. Uh, Stop, drop and listen. Yeah. Hey. And there should not be an NFL film that a field that doesn't have grass. Yeah. There's a lot of things. We I mean, mean, and you look back in the eighties and early 90s, some of them turf it was concrete. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, I mean <laughs> yeah. let's just say it's just they make too much money where these stadiums shouldn't be like that anymore. Well, I agree. A lot of those stadiums are so old too. Oh, there's oh, so lot, there's some old ones, but there's oh, a lot man. of new ones too. You there, know? there are some new. Ones. I mean, so I mean, but it's so just it's so much money. They just tear them down for you know. It's just like you know who pays for that for those stadiums, right? The, the, the cities, city. <laughs> yeah, the taxes, taxes. There we go. Uh, 
Definitely. Man, if I would have known my money was going to SoFi, I would ask for a couple more tickets. Hey, hey. Because you have so many tickets as it is, right? Yeah. So I got something for us, guys. I did have some, I did have some Christmas uh, uh, day tickets. tickets. <laughs> and I did not go. And, and, and you didn't even offer them up either. I, so, I, I let them just stay with the season ticket holder that was given to me. Honestly. You didn't think about giving it to me or Lance at all, right? <laughs> yeah, you know. No, look, 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 he took that big golf yeah, yeah, and then yeah, he, you, you said, f*** him home. I digress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever, whenever Pete's feeling the pressure, he goes, it's getting hot in here. Yeah, yeah, well, you walk bumping up quite a bit over it's here. It's getting hot in here. Uh, I was going to say, though, guys, uh, uh, freaking New Year's Eve uh, experiences, what happened, what's going on? We have stories. We have anything we want to talk about. Anybody experience anything on New Year's? What was going on in Joe, 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 Joe. Or is there anything from last year you're leaving in there? So, first and foremost, I worked a New Year's Eve party. I want to hear this. It was great. Christmas, on the other hand. Oh, okay. It's Christmas. So, I my my family's not out here. I didn't, I chose, I didn't want to really hang out with anybody. Gotcha. Um, had some drinks in his house, talked to one of my good friends back home, did some things, went back to bed. I had a friend of mine who wanted to get out, so we went out to Valley Inn, had some dinner. Um, Lance also called me that day FaceTime because he's a, you know, he's a left field FaceTimer. He likes to FaceTime you and then you got to put a shirt on and everything else and you don't know who's going to be on there and... <laughs> He's pretty funny about it. He does it notoriously. Oh, man. We so, get the 3 a.m. Notoriously. Yeah, like, hey, hey, time, 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 you know. <laughs> time to talk, guys. Yeah, exactly. Let's figure so, this out. I went over to this establishment, <laughs> and I got I got a little lit. I was having fun. It was Christmas. You know? I was having a good time. I proceeded to come home, took my shirt off, <laughs> had my uh, tank top underneath it. I, there's another word for it I'm not going to use on here. Yeah, of course. Took Howie out. If gotcha. you don't know by now, it's my damn dog. <laughs> this is how we Yeah. <laughs> he loves Preston. He goes sees Preston every morning. The damn tail beat the shit out of him. Knocking everything you know, over. He don't want to take this. Everything, it's like a damn man. Whip. That damn dog will hit you good. Yeah. <laughs> so I take him outside. I come back. I lock the damn door. So I go to the back. See the windows open. I put Howie in there. I go upstairs to get my neighbor. You got a chair and he's laughing. I go, yeah. I come back out. Howie's barking at me. <laughs> Like your intruder, yeah. And the window is about about six, the window is about six and a half feet tall, maybe a little taller. And I'm like, okay. I go through that damn window, bro. My knee, my back, my neck. I, I, I go around, get the chair, go back up, give my my chair to my neighbor. Took another shot of bourbon, went to bed. The next morning, I woke up. I felt like I got hit by a f-ing truck. Oh. I'm still limping a little bit with my f-ing knee. So I immediately. Two days later, I went and bought a lockbox. That shit ain't going to happen again. <laughs> Never again. Never no. again. And I'm embarrassed because I'm a grown-ass man. Locking himself I'm out. I'm a grown-ass man. <laughs> and went through this shit. So, that was 2022. It ain't going to happen again. I hope you liked the story because it was that quite embarrassing to talk about it. But these two... <sighs> Guys over here wanted to hear. <laughs> now I don't know if they would like to put some of their own personal information out, but that's what I do. Because what am I? One? I'm the wild card. <laughs> the wild card. My, my. So let's let's re, let's let's tell them our positions: a wild card, left field, Lance, Lance. and what is this guy? Motivational. Motivational yeah. P. Motivational P. <laughs> what you go. got for a CD? on a good day or a bad day? Yeah, something. Honestly, that's just great. <laughs> what's Joe getting what's locked worse, out? the window or stepping in dog shit? Hey, oh, we wait, got a clip by the way, audience, y'all. we got a clip coming out. This, oh, the, you wait to just watch it's the hilarious. clip. It's hilarious. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> it doesn't have to do with dog shit, even though they <laughs> thought it was dog shit. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and throw my little Christmas gem in there. I just have to say big thank you, big ups to Joe's family. His mother brought some, well, he brought some cookies down from his mom. So I want to just say thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Well. They were great. Good. I'm Me glad and you Tutu enjoyed it. Love them. Good. Nice. Um, and and there's pretzels. There was the candy cane ones. Uh, there's trees. Yeah. I'm very specific because I really want to specifically say thank you. Nice. That's nice of you, bro. I try to offer them last. Oh, no, I don't want no damn shit. I don't want no that shit sweets, over my house. Bring the sweets to me. And the yeah, thing is, my mother, you know, she, shit, she, she made so much of them and she's arguing with me. So I gave some to you. I mm-hmm. gave some to my neighbor. I gave it. To uh, 
Um, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Uh, he was just giving. He gave yeah, me mood. I gave him to a, a friend of mine, right, right? And then I gave one to uh, you know mm-hmm. another um, friend of mine. I'll just say uh, <laughs> we blush a lot together, so I gave some to blush. Okay, right. F bombs get dropped Remem- a lot. No, yeah, we're, we're, yeah. Remember, some, remember, I, they're watching. Yeah, yeah. I know. I gave, no, that's why I was trying to think of a good name. She'll get a kick out. No blush. Ah, uh, and like, then you know, <laughs> like that. I got a quick story before we go. Uh, so to to go to piggyback off what Joe was saying, um, one time I was locked out of a friend's apartment, and that was uh, Gina. She watches the show. You guys know who she mm-hmm. is. Shout out. I I, do I know Gina? You know Gina. Yeah. Gina knows me. I know that's Gina, Gina. <laughs> I might not, I might story. not know all these people uh, anymore, yeah. but they know who the fuck I am. Hey, 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 comment. You know Gina. You know Gina. I haven't Gina. talked to Gina in years. You haven't, but uh, I had the Spider Man up to her second floor. <laughs> All right, so we were locked up. Miles Morales out there just. <laughs> Let me tell you. Oh. So we're locked out. So I had to literally Spider Man up to her third floor apartment, Ooh. right? And I felt embarrassed. As you should have. I felt embarrassed. Did you put your, your Spider Man suit on? I was hurt. My body was hurting. <laughs> My ass was out. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> damn Moon near, in. damn near. <laughs> it was embarrassing the whole time. So I, I totally get where you come from, bro. And then the next day, I was just so sore because I was like, you know, when you're buzzing, you're like, "What? Well, I'll do it." The adrenaline comes down, and the real comes up. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> bro, I was limping. I I'm know. still limping. That Dang. shit still hurts. I felt the same way. I was embarrassed. I bro. thought I tore some, mm-hmm. and I had a bunch of girls watching me do it. So they, Gina, you know, that's why you did it, <laughs> and, and, I, and and it was terrible. I was like, I was like, I he, he, had a, he had an audience. Well. Like, Let me show off for of these, right? Right. Uh, mm-hmm. I was struggling though. too. I was like, yeah, the, the shanks. <laughs> do it, do it. The old, he had the ultimate I warrior. Got this. Yeah, yeah. I got uh, before we get off, though, I do want to say, uh, if you're ever in the valley and uh, you're looking for some cannabis, mm-hmm. uh, slide into uh, OTC. Off the charts, holler at Val. She'll take care of you. There's some great prices and good. Good stuff going on in that locale right now. They have a lot of things uh, that you will enjoy. Burbank, Van Nuys. Definitely. See you guys soon, too. For sure, for sure. So yes, what are we yes, doing, yes. guys? We're going to end this off. What are we doing? Well, Joe said we tore it up. We did tear it up. We always time. tear it up. Yeah, so let me just go ahead and tear this down, compadres. Get with us at C-O-M-P-O-D-R-E-S, not just for the YouTube. Hit up our Spotify. Hit up our uh, iHeart. Please. Hit up our Apple. Please. You know, get our audios going, too, and stuff like that. You know, I like I like the fact that y'all like to see us, but also listen to us when y'all can't see us. You right. know, hey, driving home, watching some stuff, just hanging in out. In the gym. Throw us in the AirPod. Doing your thing. Whatever that thing is. <laughs> but okay, is always to my left, the man himself. I am underscore ill son. And always to my right, Rizza. Let them know what's up, man. They waiting. I'm Rizza. I'm Rizza. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good week, y'all. I wanted. <laughs> Hi. No. Hi. That ain't going to come out for a minute again. And I am your host, SB Press. See y'all next time, compadres. And like that, we gone. We gone. I need all the wins, yeah Pay no L's, I gotta get a no call and quit, yeah Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard